With the PS2 open beta launching on Xbox today, Sega has announced that they are selling a $60 and $30 Founders Pack. Now, at first, I believed that they would not do any Founders Packs, though this doesn't surprise me. Having Founders Packs doesn't track some people, but it also pushes people away due to Founders Packs being scams in past MMOs, giving us crappy costumes and other items making the pack worthless. Though that is not the case for the PS2 packs, they actually have some stuff in them that intrigues some others and myself. Though there has been a ton of people on our Discord and other YouTubers comment sections complaining about the price of the Sonic Collaboration Pack saying it isn't worth it due to the type of collaboration. That is true. Personally, I don't really like the Sonic outfit, though I know plenty of people that would enjoy Sonic outfit as they are fans of Sonic. However, the costumes and cosmetics are really just freebies in the Founders Pack and here are a few reasons why. If you scroll down and read the items that we get from the packs, most of these items are purchasable from the AC shop, and if you add up all the prices, we get over $100 value in items from this pack. The costumes, however, if they are on any of the AC scratches, they would cost $2 each if you're lucky enough. However, we get them all without gambling with the hope of landing on them in the AC scratch. Other than the costumes, we also get tons of useful items from these packs. The extra inventory slots will help greatly with inventory management, the premium will allow us to have access to sell things on the player marketplace and tons of other useful features. Character storage tickets giving us 250 more slots of storage space instead of the original standalone 300. The XP boost will help us level a bit quicker and the grinders and grain enhancement aids will help with weapon enhancement. Now, I won't say that this pack is for everyone. However, if you do plan to invest money into this game, you will most likely purchase all of these from the AC shop at a later date. Although not purchasing this pack or anything in the game won't affect you as much as you may think. For the marketplace, you can get three day shop tickets from the fun scratch. For the XP boost, they are given to us for free like hotcakes. For the inventory, you'll absolutely be fine if you manage your inventory correctly. And there is plenty of storage already, so that really won't affect you at all. Now I would say this pack is definitely handy for those who are coming from the JP version, who have invested a lot of money into the game already, and are looking for a faster way to get most of the AC shop items they had before. If you are already planning to purchase all this stuff, I would go ahead and get this pack. It's cheaper than buying everything separately, and it gives 12 AC scratches to start for cosmetics. Other than the Sonic pack, we have the Ragul Edition pack. It is a pack for those who want costumes and items from PSO and PSU. It doesn't have as many items, but the premium and AC scratch tickets are worth more than $30 alone. For the Ragul memories, however, it is hard to determine its price since we don't know how many of them are required for exchanges and we only get 10 of them. The Sonic collab pack also gives five Ragul memories as well. So if you were to purchase both of these packs, that's 15 memories in total. To my knowledge, you should be able to purchase both, though if you were to get the Sonic pack, you don't have to get the Ragul Edition pack to get PSO or PSU items. So the question is, is buying these packs worth it? For me, definitely. I'm an old PSO2 player that has spent quite a bit on the JB client, and I'm already planning to purchase all the inventory slots and premium. I also love the idea of the original costumes from the PSO and PSU days. So of course I'm gonna buy it. I may even buy both. PSO2 is a great game and I would love to support this game. Heck, I would rather this game be a sub-based game. It is awesome in so many ways. These packs, in my opinion, overall have more pros and cons. Though, at the end of the day, it is always your choice on what you want to spend your money on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more content and guides in the future, hit the subscribe button and the bell to the left to receive notifications on my future videos. Also, if you guys need a Discord to have fun in or just need any help with PSO2 questions, join our PSO2 West Hub Discord. And as always, thank you to my Patreons and helpers for all their help keeping me on track and these videos coming. Thanks again for watching and I hopefully will see you all in the next video. I, 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 I,